Sam Jolly's got you with the next Sam. We've been feeling hot, hot, hot. Walking on sunshine, Rick. I love it. <laughs> but tomorrow is the last day of our heat wave. Thankfully, it is looking a bit hotter than we originally thought, but we will get weekend relief. I'll have the forecast next. Seven News. Free. Simple. Foolproof. The way for you to verify who that person is. A surefire way to beat a new generation of scammers using technology to rip you off. I felt absolutely sick. What families should do right now on 7 News at 6. We thought yesterday was hot, but it was hotter today. In fact, Perth's warmest day in four years. And here it is, 42.6 degrees, the official reading for the city. And that followed on from a hot night, a low of almost 22. We did get an afternoon sea breeze. The temperature dropped a bit, but it is still around 35 degrees right now. Further inland, we had some record-breaking temperatures. The Swan Valley recorded its hottest day ever, 45.1 degrees. Bullsbrook got to 45.2. It was 45 at the airport, a lot cooler for Fremantle, 38, and then we had 39 further south. The west coast trough that is causing the heat will start to move inland tomorrow, so we will see those extreme conditions move away from the metro area. Taking a look at the national forecast, 33 and sunny for Brisbane tomorrow, 28 in Sydney, it's looking mostly sunny in Canberra and cloud clearing in Adelaide, 29. So still hot across the state tomorrow, 45 for Marble Bar, 42 in Kalgoorlie, even Bunbury and Bustleton will get to 35 and then 37 in Esperance. We're getting down to 22 again tonight. Then for the last day of our heat wave, 39 in the city tomorrow, 43 for Ellenbrook and Midland. Saturday will be windy but a lot cooler, 31. Mild on Sunday, a cloudy start and 26 degrees. Sunny and 27 on Monday, 31 Tuesday. But then it's hot again, 35 on Wednesday and 38 for next Thursday. And congratulations to John and Elaine Moltoni from Applecross celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. They have three children, 11 grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. Children. Also celebrating their diamond anniversary, Mavis and Michael Sissons of Wanneroo. They have two daughters and six grandchildren. And Elaine and John Archer from Marbella were also married on this day 60 years ago. They have three daughters, 10 grandchildren, and seven great grandchildren. Congratulations to all our couples. Now to Mark Lacroix with your boating and fishing details. Well, thanks, Sam. With the hot weather around, it's been the perfect time to hit the water. Let's check it out. Expect southerly winds, 15 to 25 knots, seas 1 to 2 metres, and a southwesterly swell, 1 to 1.5 metres. The low tide in Mandra is around 7 a.m., the high is at 4.41 p.m., times roughly an hour earlier up around Hillary's. If you're taking the board out, there won't be anything big around, but the water will be beautiful early, with the fun little reef breaks like grabbers and metems throwing up a few waves. If you're wetting a line, there's some important information to keep in mind this week. With the West Coast demersal season closing from today, it'll be back open for the start of the Easter school holidays. Also, this Saturday's abalone fishing day has been cancelled due to the bad weather forecast, and it's your last chance to get out and enjoy marin season with that season closing at noon this Monday. And check out tonight's viewer picks. The Farnell boys, Ben and Blake, had a great time reeling in some nice Swan River tailor. Ian West caught this whopping 78 centimetre dart off the beach at Dongra and have a look at this massive King George Whiting Mark Sedintis snagged off Bustledon. Keep sending your awesome catches to fishing at 7.com.au to be featured. I'll catch you tomorrow night to have a look at the weekend. Thanks, Mark. Now, Rachel Tasker is at Lottery West headquarters tonight where computers have been processing millions of tickets. Rachel, has there been a winner? Rick, I can tell you there are two winners, but unfortunately none from WA. They're from New South Wales and Queensland. The prize, $200 million, the biggest in Australian history. And for those winners, it will no doubt change their lives forever. Rick Sue. Thanks, Rachel. I will back to work for all of us tomorrow. That's 7 News this Thursday, the 1st of February. We'll be back with updates throughout the evening. For the latest stories, head to 7news.com.au. Stay cool and enjoy the rest of your night here on 7.